Hey everybody, this is GliderCat and it's time to play. We are back in Colony Survival. We are moving and grooving, a little tongue-tied there, Colony Survival. And let's get back to it. Between episodes, I did some odds and ends. I filled in a little bit of that stone with dirt so we can make it out of farmland. I pushed back our perimeter a tiny little bit. And what else? I did one of the researches. Let's take a look. We go into science. I unlocked the one that required the wheat. This guy. No, where was it? This guy, the tailor. So we've got a new farmer, flax farmer. We want to get that going so we can produce linen. We've got another new um, work block here, the tailor shop. It says, where's the colonist work? Here's a tailor. And this will get us clothing. And then I believe our merchant's hub has been created as well. So let's come over here. We got a couple things to do. One, we want to make sure that porridge recipe is no longer deprioritized. In fact, let's put it at the highest priority and crank it up to, mm, why not a hundred? So our tinkerers can actually process the wheat. We probably have some now in inventory. Yeah, 362 in inventory. I turned off the pot of water so our water collector should no longer be filling i'm trying to collect empty pots here not sure where those are being used because this number should be climbing our water gatherer is basically turned off just waiting for the order to um start filling pots with water but we need these pots empty for another research. It is this one right here. Yeah, we need five empty pots. So that's in process. And then we've got, we have in the stockpile, this merchant's hub. You can buy and sell things for points here. Let's build it or put it down. Um, That's just crappy stone. I don't need that in my inventory. This guy is done working. So I don't, I guess. Merchant shop, job block, crafters workstation. Um, I guess we can turn this guy off, the job block crafters. So let's go into the jobs. I don't think we need that worker to do anything for us. And while we're here, let's kick up the nighttime and daytime guards let's bring it up to four nighttime and three daytime foods looking good enable jobs okay build jobs 29 out of 29 okay i think we're good let's recruit just to make sure recruit to fill all jobs yeah there were two that needed to be filled we've only got one spare bed Take a look at the inventory on beds. Oh, yeah, they're doing good. I'm going to steal those and put them in here somewhere. That'll prompt our tinkerers to make more beds at some point. Let's put down the merchant hub now. We'll do it right next to these guys. Hmm. I don't know that that doesn't look like it takes a worker, does it? Right click. What can we do? Yeah, we probably need to buy this leather, right? We could sell linen, we could sell copper ingots, or we can sell earthenware. We've got 21 copper ingots in our stockpile. This is kind of cool. That's why I'm kind of chuckling. Let's see, can we sell... Okay, we're actually getting points here. We've got 30 points. It's 30 for this leather. Let's sell 10 more ingots. That's all we really have to sell. And let's buy this animal stuff. Uh, before we do, let's look at the science tree and see just exactly what we need. We need five animal carcass to unlock the tanner. So let's see if we can buy those now. Also want to see, are those colony points? No, those are, oh, current points over capacity. Okay, interesting. So we can use this for our upgrades too, right? 
Looks like it. Although our current point capacity is only 100. And if we want to expand the banner safe zone, we need 500. So I wonder how we up that. I wonder if we have to up the population first. Oh man, lots of stuff to discover. We'll get to it. But right now I want to get five animal carcass if I can. Let's see. Just the carcass. Can I buy five? Buy one. Okay, we just bought five into the tech tree. Okay, it's going to increase our monster threat by 10, but we just added a couple guards. But it's effectively going to double our threat level, but we're going to go for it. It's going to get us cooked meat. And it's going to lock the tanner's table, which probably... Who knows what that does? It might allow us to make some items that are worth money that we can sell. Oh, it's also going to, it's also required for us to unlock the anvil. Oh man, lots of stuff. Okay, we're up to two stinky pots. We need more than that. We need three more pots to unlock this porridge. And what I'm most interested in is, um, where is it? I thought this unlocked the stone guy. Grocery shop. Grocery shop's going to help. That'll stop our workers from having to come all the way up to the banner to get their meal for the day. Merchant hub. Let's see. Water pumping. I don't really need. We don't have the copper ingots anyway. Pots we saw. And this we have to wait for leather. All right. We may actually need. Yeah. Now we've got the tanner's table available to us. So we're going to have to put... A worker back on the job block crafter. Let's do that. Boom. Only jobs. And see, we're going to need one of these probably at all times. So we'll bring that guy in and then we'll recruit to fill it. Boom. And now we need to place more beds because we're running out. We've got them on the hot bar, so not a big deal. We can do another row here. And then I'll hold on to the other 12 I've got in my hotbar just in case we need to put some underground. How are we doing on zombies here? I'm going to load up my ammunition and take a look out there. Boom and boom. Back. Food's looking good at 62 meals up in the top right. Our threat level has doubled recently. Keeping my eyes peeled here. Still looks like they're coming in kind of slow. I think our guards can probably handle it. We might want to add two more. At some point we're going to get more difficult enemies coming. Ooh. They're harder to hit than you think. Uh, than you might imagine. All right. I think we're okay there. It looks like we've got four nighttime guards. So we added somebody to the job block workstation. Let's create. Yeah, he's set up to create two tanners tables. And probably he's going to create another merchant hub for us too. That's all good. Let's check the tinker table priorities real quick. Blanks. We put that on low priority. And only if we have less than a hundred, let's go to this guy and make sure. Yeah. Planks are at 200 firewoods at 75. Let's crank that up and the flooring too, actually, or log walls. Make sure this worker stays busy. Kind of curious to try that flooring out. Did we get any yet? Uh, let's see. I don't see it. We've got tons of, or a good amount of iron ore to process eventually. Still only two pots. I'm kind of bummed out about that. Plenty of wheat. Gruel 
and berry meals are looking good, like I said before. Planks we've got. We've got some mud bricks. Let's increase that level. We haven't gone down there in a while. That's going to be a building material that we use when we first start building our castle proper. Once we expand one time, I think we'll start doing it. Let's make sure we have a bunch of these. I'm going to kick this up to 300. Gold ingots have been unlocked. I wonder if we can find gold. Or where that might be. A couple episodes ago, or last episode, I think we dug down one more level. We got nothing down here. Could try to go one more. Oops, not like that. Let's chew this back a bit. All right, that's down to level 10. I don't see any new ores or anything. I might have to, between episodes, look on the Discord and just see where the ores are or if we need to dive deeper or if we just need to find different biomes. I'm kind of hoping they're deeper. I do like the idea of digging and having a lot of subterranean levels. But I don't see anything screaming at us here, so we won't spend any more time doing this. Let me just grab these last couple nuggets and we'll head back up. Up we go. Got two floors down there of really basically nothing. Or three floors, I guess, of nothing, right? Okay, there's our iron miner doing his thing. This pot person, yeah, look how slow it is for the pots. We've got plenty of clay. We might need to put another person down. Although, once he's done with that pot, we can unlock the... Item from the tech tree that we're waiting on this forage, right? So we're almost done. That's going to increase our threat level yet again. Let's head up top. You probably want to unlock at least a couple more guards. Let's do that now. Uh, let's see. Jobs. Boom. Get another daytime guard unlocked and another nighttime guard unlocked. We'll have to recruit for that. Boom. And then maybe it's time to plant some flax. I think we're okay on the wood. So I'm going out and harvesting it. How are we doing? Do we not have logs? Logs temperate. We got 487. I think that's what they're making these planks and stuff out of. How do we not have more planks? Hmm. Not sure what those are being used for. Maybe the beds, right? Maybe the beds. But we got plenty of logs, so I don't think we need another forester right now, but I do want to get flax going. Let's place a farm. I think this is another kind of make a 10 by 10 kind of deal. Boom. Like that. And then let's put... Hmm. We got some space here that's going to end up being a little bit wasted. Let's put the crate right there for now. Got to recruit for that one. And then once we get some flax on hand, we will place the tailor shop. Anything else we can place? Animal carcasses. And I'm still curious how we get these. It does say purchasable at the merchant hub for five points. It doesn't tell us how to get them. So maybe that's the only way you can uh, get them is through trades. They're kind of forcing us to uh, play with that, the trading. This guy, what are you making? Tailor shop. Tanner's table needs planks and linen. So he's trying to make two Tanner's tables, but there's no linen available. Hmm. What can you do in the meantime? He's not doing anything, that worker. Hmm. 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 I don't like that. Let's, um, 
Let's set up a... St uh, yeah, how can we do it? I was just thinking, maybe we could set up a miner to do stone. And then when this guy is not... When he's blocked and can't work on anything... We could take him off of this and maybe he'd go work at the stone station, but that it gets a little hard to manage. I'm also thinking we might want to up the count of miners that we've got. We can put one on stone down here, though. Let's do... How are we doing on stone? I've been chewing... Well, we don't need it. We don't need someone on stone, I don't think. Copper's looking good. If anything, it looks like we might need another smelter. Let's do it. Let's put another smelter down. We'll put it next to the potter. That's another thing we could use two of. I think we've got... Smelting station. Up this down. Boom. He can share the crate. We'll get another bed down here. Boom. And then the potter's been doing his work, so let's uh, unlock that tech finally. Boom, increases the monster threat by 15. We'll take it. Now we've got the grocery shop. That is going to be super helpful. It's going to allow us to distribute our workers and they won't have to go up to the banner. Anvil. Okay, unlock the anvil, important source of more advanced products like copper tools. This one takes leather, so we're going to have to buy more stuff, which means probably trade, right? We need to we need to be able to make leather or buy it. I think I need to recruit. I'm gonna take our worker off the job block crafter. Okay, we've got flax planted, and it looks like it's actually been harvested. So let's get a tailor going. I can see a zombie off there in the distance. Put a tailor station down here, and a new crate. Can be shared. That one we need to recruit for. What are we doing on beds? Good. I'm going to steal that stack and just put it in my inventory so they can build another 20 for us. Okay, we're looking better on guards. We've got five guards at night, it looks like. Take a look. See what the load looks like. It's not too bad. We're definitely getting more. Interesting uh, pathing on his guy. But right when you stare at him, he's going to turn. Makes him hard to shoot. There we go. Another one way down there. Yeah, oh, I didn't get him. All right, we just need to wait through the nighttime. Let's see what else we've got. We've made everything we can make. Water pump will probably do just to get it off the list. I'm going to do that so we don't have to keep looking at it. Anvil. Yeah, we're going to have to... Let's see. If we want to tan our own leather... We need the tanner's table, and our job crafter guy was having a problem crafting that, right? Let's see. Linen. Who makes linen for us? Uh, who makes...
makes linen? The tailor, right? Yeah, the tailor is going to make linen for us. Once that's going, we've already hired them. They're sleeping. Once we get the linen, then we can put our a worker back on the job block kind of crafter station. And they can make us a tanner's table. Then we can maybe purchase leather from the trader and tan it ourselves. Because leather is 30 points and animal carcasses are only five. So if we tan it ourselves, we'll save quite a bit. Not to mention these um, linen are a trade good. So is the earthenware. Let's go down to the pottery or potter and up the limits. I think I had that person pretty much totally disabled. Where are you? Are you, where are you? Are you down here? Yeah, let's unleash this thing. Or maybe I already did. Looks like he's okay. Yeah, here he comes. Yeah, he's back working fine. Oh, it was the water collector, right? That guy was turned off. Let's make sure he's back. What do we have now for pots? Just two. Oh man, it's slow. We probably need more of those guys. Most likely. Let's get our water gatherer at least back operational. This is the one I think I... Or yeah, he's just sitting waiting for a task. Down to two. Let's put this up to 50. And then we're going to need another potter or two. Let's just do it. Food's looking really good. Potters are down the level. Let's actually put down two of these. I think we're going to need them. Crate. Grab crates out of inventory out of the uh, stockpile and put them in my inventory so they can make some more. We're gonna have to recruit for that, and I think we're gonna want to unleash a couple more guards just to play it safe. So let's go to the managed jobs. Unleash one more day slinger, one more night slinger, and then we'll recruit for all these positions. And we'll keep an eye on our threat level. We're at 38.3. Recruit for all jobs. We're going to need more beds put down. Uh, yeah, I got to put beds down here too, right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Four, five. Here they come. Do we have the grocer or do we have to make that? We're going to have to make that. Okay, we got our first linen being made. That's awesome. So now we're kind of in the early phase of kind of scaling things up. Let's see how fast our tailor works. Looks fairly slow, right? Oh man, look how slow that is. We've got a fair amount of flax. Does it show the recipe just out of curiosity? How much flax? Yeah, six flax for each little batch of linen. But speed is an issue. Trading for flax, we get seven. For copper ingots, we get four. Earthenware, if that ever gets made, that gets us quite a bit. Battery station. Hmm, should we be prioritizing that? At least to have a few of it? Let's try that. Go down to the pottery station. Eventually, I'll organize these stations. They're a little random here as to what's where let's do 10 earthenware and let's make that like the highest priority and put pots at two for now 
because this is going to drive our trading income. And it looks like, what does this take? Just takes three. Oh. Crafting time with stone tools, 360 seconds. It needs clay planks and a pot with water. Interesting. So yeah, that's a big endeavor to make that. That's let's put that on five, but keep it a high priority and see if these guys don't switch over to making it. Wow, this guy. Oh, they need planks. They need planks. Let's go look at our woodcutter and see what's going on over there. He's making firewood. Up to 300. And he went, he needs planks. What? Yeah, we need more planks. What about you guys? They're making gruel. Kind of like that the way it is. Wonder if we need another woodcutter here. Now he's making planks. Let's get another woodcutter down. Yeah, let's do two. Recruit for those. I'm going to have to put down beds, right? Nope. I'm okay. Planks at 200. What's their highest priority thing? Planks and firewood. The firewood we are going to need, so I want to keep that going. We're using that in the... I think we're using that in the furnaces, if I'm not mistaken. So where are we at? Planks are at zero. Logs are high, so we're good there. Mud bricks are doing good. Yeah, we're burning a bunch of firewood probably to make these uh, mud bricks, but we're going to use a lot of these. And firewood sitting at 66. We're still not processing the iron as far as I know. And we've got a bunch of copper to smelt. Oh, man. And okay, now we've got kind of a sizable guard contingent here. This must be, is this both of them? Like the intersection of the day and the night shift, it looks like. We've got quite a few up there. 7, 8, 9, 10. Scaling on up. Food is still holding pretty good. We've got 35 points. Once we get enough linen, three. Do we have three linen? We do. We've got four. Now we got to bring this guy back. Our job worker. This guy, the job block crafter. To get us a tanner's table. So we're going to have to enable that. In here, job, manage the jobs. Job block crafter. Got to recruit. He's going to go to bed right when he gets here. Boom. There he is. Eating. And then going to bed. Oh man, we're starting to scale up. We are starting to scale up. But yeah, what I want to do now is get the tanner. Get that station built. And then we can sell... Did we get any of those fancy jars? Not yet. It'd be nice to sell those, buy some animal hides to process. Oops, wrong one. This guy. Yeah, if we can buy some more animal carcass, we have points, I guess. Yeah, we'll be able to buy these animal carcasses. And then hopefully once we get the tanner built, we can start making some leather. And then we need leather for the tech tree, but we can probably also sell it. I'm hoping we'll be able to, it'll show up in this cell area once we have the tanner station. And maybe that's a way for us to make some cash too. We'll buy carcass, process it in leather and sell it back and make a tidy profit. Well, and I'm hoping we can get this earthenware going too, but boy, that takes a lot of ingredients. Very cool. Not much we can do when it's dark except dig. Within the, within the parameters of our safe zone. 
We can walk out there, but I don't want to chance it. I'm going to chew this back a little bit. Then we'll take another look at that tech tree and see what comes next. We do need to scale everybody up. Scale up the guards, scale up the farming, scale up the smelting, scale up the miners. All that stuff. And then between episodes, I'm going to try to remember to go look and see where we get the advanced ores, like the gold and whatever else is coming. Got plenty of flax for now. We have one flax field, right? We're going to want another one of those, I'm sure. Tech tree. We've got the grocery shop, which needs colony points. So I guess we got to buy that by selling some stuff. How are we doing on ingots? That's what we sold last time, right? We got 12. Not a lot. Not a lot. We did put down another smelter. We probably need like 300 more of those. That one we got to buy. And then this one we need to make the leather. Yeah, we're... We're on the way to doing that. Rather than buying the leather, we're going to try to buy the animal carcasses and do it ourselves. And then hopefully we'll have the copper ingots real soon. But once we unlock this, our threat's going up by 30. This one looks like it's not going to bring up our threat, which is nice. And then we can put these grocery shops down underground where we've got the workers. So they don't have to run over to this banner. And then as we expand, we'll put more. We'll scatter more around the uh, castle because it's going to get pretty big. Okay, here's a guy. Oops, they beat me to it. Yeah, between episodes, I'm kind of chewing this stuff back. I know we are going to expand our footprint. But I can do that between episodes. What else could we do? Tell you what, let's wrap it here. I'm going to let some time run. In between episodes, like I said, I'll research the ores. And then when we come back, we'll put down, we'll hopefully be able to craft some leather and cash in that linen and get the tannery station built. But we'll do that all next episode. For now, this is Gladdercat saying thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoy this series on Colony Survival. Again, this is a game I really, really enjoy. We are just getting started. We have just barely scratched the surface. And as I mentioned before, everything you see, <laughs> including the walls, including the farms, is probably going to get moved as we grow and expand. In fact, we'll do some pretty big transformations once we, um, once we unlock the banner safe zone thing here, where we need 500 points for that. And we need the ability to even collect 500 points. But once we kick out once or twice, then we're going to make use of all of these um, mud bricks we've been collecting and start building a real, um, a real castle out here. Got a lot of ground to clear. Hopefully we can get the digger construction worker unlocked soon. That'll help us expand our terrain as well. But yeah, that's it for now. I will see you all in the next episode.